the Jews have a real dilemma. <laughs> Boy, do they ever. Uh, you see, right now, they're at war. And the problem is, with that, that the real power that they're looking for for that war has to come from God. And the problem is, most Jews in Israel right now live as atheists. Uh, they don't really take God seriously or the Bible seriously, especially. especially. Um, so there are some, of course, that would be Orthodox or whatever else, and they would believe in God, and they would try to do their whole thing following the Torah and whatever, being Torah observant, and they blend in their Satanic Talmud type of stuff and the Kabbalah and whatever else. But you see, the problem is the power that they need, the spiritual power that they need to be victorious in this war that they're involved in, and it's just going to get worse, it has to come from God and the Bible. Um, so, right now I'm seeing a lot of stuff about, you know, the Jews in Israel and all this other stuff, you know, uh, how are they going to fight and what will they do about Gaza and, and uh, the United Nations is coming against them and Russia is warning them and China is saying this and, oh, our advisors are warning against these different things and whatever. Um, so the Jews, their dilemma is going to be do they follow the scriptures, which they've been rejecting for so many years, or do they listen to their secular advisors, which warn them against war, against fighting for their land? Um, you see, their land grant that they have, it's based upon scripture. See, right now they say, well, it's the land of Palestine. It's the, the Palestinian people own that land over there. Uh, well, actually, if you go back before the Palestinians, the Jews had that land. And uh, you say, but yes, but you can go back before them. And the Old Testament even records how that they were taking land away from other people. Oh, that's very true. But uh, God told them to do that. He brought them into that land that he promised to Abraham. Um, I'll be doing another video on how big that land actually is supposed to be. And how big that land will be when Jesus Christ comes back um, to reign for the 1,000 year kingdom which they don't believe in Jesus right now, but they will. They're going to be put into a very desperate situation. But you know, it's an interesting thing. I got to thinking about this and I thought, you know, this, my belief, my teaching is that uh, there will be no peace treaty between the Jews and the Muslims. You know, that's that the Antichrist sets up. That's nonsense. There's no scripture for that. The confirming the covenant with many for one week it doesn't say anything about Islam. Um, it's obviously the Jews are involved, but who would they confirm a covenant with? Why would they confirm a covenant with the Islamic nations? They won't. There won't be any kind of peace treaty there. The covenant that they're going to confirm and that they're going to go along with is the covenant of death. Uh, they're going to join with Rome, the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church that currently holds a lot of the um, real estate in Jerusalem. You can look that up. They've made, uh, I think, the Oslo Accord or something, I think is what it was called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments down below. A lot of my videos, I do things from memory, and people get all upset. Oh, you're not telling the truth or whatever. I do stuff from memory, okay? Sometimes I do more uh, scholarly type work in my studio where I have everything written out, but a lot of this stuff is just ad lib. So please have some grace for me. If I make a mistake, I'm sorry. I'm not the Pope. I don't, I'm not speaking ex cathedra here or anything. Uh, <laughs> I do that at my office. But, uh, but you know, it's just an interesting thing. I was thinking about this and I thought, you know, the Jews, they're going to sign this, this treaty with Roman Catholicism and I believe it will be to wipe out the uh, Islamic nations. You see, the Jews, a lot of them are servants of the Vatican. A lot of people get that all mixed up. They, oh no, the Jews, are they control the Vatican. <laughs> that is the most laughable thing in the entire world. Um, no, they don't. And I've proved that so many times down through the years, it's an insult to even bring it up again. But uh, just nonsense. There's so many high-ranking Jews are, you know, they attain to Catholic knighthoods. We won't talk about that, though. You know, I guess that's part of the delusion or something and how the... Jews control the you know Vatican or something no um, not true so uh, but the time will come when this covenant is going to be confirmed between the Jews and the Catholics again remember 
in uh, the New Testament, uh, Pilate comes before them and he says, Shall I crucify your king? And what do the Jews say? We have no king but Caesar. They didn't say, We control Caesar. You know, and how did it flip? Okay, there's the Roman, the Iron Legions of Rome, the Legs of Iron, the Fourth Kingdom. The Fifth Kingdom comes along, part iron, part miry clay. Did the Fifth Kingdom go away? Uh, now somehow a Jewish kingdom showed up and the Jews controlled the Catholics? If you're young out there in the faith and you've been led into this nonsense that the Jews control everything, uh, you better repent of that. That's not true. Um, you've been led astray very much. But um, I think by the time that covenant is about to be confirmed, I think that the Jews are going to want to confirm a covenant with the Antichrist. Um, because the Islamic nations are going to be out for blood. Jewish blood. And they're already doing that. We're already seeing that. The anger is building against the Jewish people. And the Jewish people, a lot of them very arrogantly are making fun of the Palestinian people. The We, we just call them Ishmaelites. Uh, descendants of Ishmael. Uh, the son of the bond woman, as the Bible refers to. Uh, Ishmael and his descendants. But... Um, yeah, that time's going to come when those Jews are going to be realizing, I think we better start to believe the Bible. Hmm, yeah, I think that would be probably important. And um, I think we probably should uh, sign another covenant with this Roman Catholic Church. So, um, in conclusion, I will make a statement. And that statement is, I'm sure glad I'm not a Jew. <laughs> I'm a Christian. A uh, Gentile Christian and um, the blood of Jesus Christ God's Son has cleansed me from my sin and his righteousness has been imputed to me so uh, I have the uh, blood of a perfect Jew Jesus Christ he came to his own and his own received him not what's his own to the Jewish people um, so Jesus was a Jew don't believe anybody that says that lie too. oh no he wasn't Jewish yes he was I came not to the lost sheep. I came not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why would he say that if he's not a Jew? Um, he was their Messiah. How could he be their Messiah if he's not a Jew? Jesus was a Jew. Uh, again, don't fall for that anti-Semitic garbage. Um, he was a Jew. And, uh, but you know, they rejected him. And uh, I haven't. And... I'm not facing the time of the church's trouble, the time of the Gentile Christian's trouble. No, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, it's not for me. That's why I'm going to be leaving. The body of Christ leaves before the time of Jacob's trouble. You know why? Because it's the time of Jacob's trouble. Israel, you know, very difficult. Oh, such deep theological, all this stuff. No, it's not really that hard to understand. Um, the Jews have rejected Jesus as their Messiah. The seven year time that's coming, the what people call the Great Tribulation, it's for them. The Jews require a sign. And you can see that with Israel. They have these little things where they try to, they'll name missiles or they'll name different things uh, after characters in the Old Testament. And um, uh, you're going to have to get do a little bit more than that, our Jews. You're going to have to start to say, um, you know, people say, what right do you have to that land of Palestine? What right do you have? Uh, thus saith the scriptures. The word of God tells me. That's the authority. Not, well, um, I mean, we, we're kind of trying to work this out between us and the Vatican. You know, I think it should work. You know, No, no. Um, the scriptures. The Bible tells me so. So, um... You know, again, don't fall for the other movement, too, of, uh, oh, we're the true Jews, the church is the true Jewish thing, we've replaced Israel and all this other stuff. Uh, replacement theology, again, I've debunked that for years now. Uh, it's nonsense, absolute total nonsense, very satanic heresy. And again, okay, the church has replaced Israel, so then what do you do with the time of Jacob's trouble? Now you have the church going into a time when they can lose their salvation. It's a whole package deal, brethren. You have to understand. 
You have to rightly divide the word of truth. And if you don't, you'll make a mess of the Bible. Some of you young punks out there, you just think, oh, I've watched, you know, I've watched videos for a whole week, so I'm qualified now or something to tell people off, preachers off that have been studying for many years. Okay, child, you have a lot to learn. So, um, you're not a Jew uh, out there. If you're a physical um, Gentile type of Christian, uh, don't try to pretend that you're Jewish. Jesus didn't come to convert you to Judaism. He came to save you from your sins. Uh, we're not facing the time of Jacob's trouble. It's not for the church. It's for Israel. And Israel is going to have to get a backbone and fight to prove the scriptures to be correct. And all the wicked people out there, all these Ishmaelites and everything else, um, the Bible doesn't speak very well of you and uh, your future. You're going to be the ones that the Antichrist and the the uh, alt-right antichrist system and the Jews join together to exterminate. Uh, you can get saved, but you have to put your faith in Jesus Christ to do it. And he wasn't just a prophet, by the way. He is God, not a trinity. He is part of the Godhead. He is the Godhead. In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, the Bible says. Um, Jesus Christ is no second man to the pervert Muhammad bunch of nonsense better repent of that because otherwise your future is even worse than the jews they're muslims you're going to be wiped out in a final uh, holy crusade by the vatican and um the militaries of the world and you will be wiped out because the bible said so so that is going to be it um please study please watch the videos on this channel Spend a lot of time studying. You're, you're not to be quick to, to speak things before the Lord. You're supposed to study and read and research. Search the scriptures to see if these things are so. Okay, excuse me. Um, so we'll see you in the next video.